Hello, welcome back. Okay, so for today, I will be doing something special, and this is the first of a five-part series with a giveaway at the end. So, okay, so today I will be painting a SpongeBob-inspired moth because I think it'll look really cool. And yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so for this painting, I recycled a piece of cutting board that my architecture studio provided to us. And I used this to make a tiny little painting canvas. I started off with gessoing, so you prime the surface. And then next is um, sketching. Sketching is probably the most important part of any process, especially this one. Because we're trying to re-image such an iconic character, Spongebob into something else, into another vision of itself. Um, I really wanted to do this series because I miss watching Spongebob as a kid. He used to be my favorite TV show to watch. I remember spending every morning watching Spongebob, even though my parents didn't want me to watch Spongebob in the morning. I'd watch it after school, and then I'd watch it after dinner at night. And it just made me really happy. And now that I'm 20 years old, I don't really get to watch Spongebob as often as I used to. And so I really wanted to pay tribute to this show in the form of this painting. I'm really into moths right now and into galaxy type backgrounds, landscapes. So I thought to combine these three Spongebob moths and the landscape into this one painting just so that I can reimagine this childhood in my head. Anyways, okay, so what I just showed you was a splattering technique. I'm pretty sure all of you guys have seen this, but if you haven't, it's basically watering down your acrylic paint, your white paint, and then uh, tapping your brush with another brush so that it creates tons of speckles on the surface that you're painting on. And this just creates the illusion of stars in the background and then the foreground, creating a lot of depth with such a simple technique. As you can see, it is basically done. I'm just finishing up the final highlights on this piece. And uh, this SpongeBob Inspire Moth is finished. Very nice. <laughs> Here's me showing it off. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. Oh, I am done. Okay, so it is finished. This is my SpongeBob inspired moth. I think it looks pretty cool. It's already like 1.19 a.m. I should be sleeping, but yeah. So this brown was from his pants. I got the divots from his skin. I think they look really cool. I use this red tie as like the um the boning of the wings, and then the uh, I got this the tails of the wings from his socks. Ooh, focus. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna do more of these um cartoon character inspired moths. So if you want me to do your favorite character, just comment it down below, and I'll probably do it. Yeah. Spongebob inspired moth. Damn, that is cool. Okay. Good night. Also, I will be doing a giveaway. So there's only going to be five of these character inspired moths. So they're going to be five. So at the end of five videos, I'll be giving away these little paintings for free. All you have to do is to be one, subscribe, two, share this to your social media, and three, send a screenshot to me on Instagram. And then at the end of the five weeks, five videos really, I will be putting your name in a raffle, drawing five winners, and I will contact you on Instagram if you have one, and share and send this to you.